Good morning. Welcome to All Things Chadwick, or good evening, whatever time it might be when you see this. Uh, salutations. This, since it is morning, this is bedhead, like um, I, I don't care. And this is one of my night shirts. I used to wear it in the daytime, but got a little questionable around here. Uh, so I just wear it at home mostly now. Thought I would do something a little different for my morning routine, even if you're watching this at night. Um, I love this corner of my bedroom. My big comfy chair, my little gold Hamsa ohm hand, ohm, you know, peace hand. And I like, I won't say this candle because I have burned so many candle over the year. You know, candles do get consumed. But this is the old, old, old iron candlestick that I've had since I was a teenager. Found it probably in an antique mall or a, a little uh, shop somewhere. And I have this journal that my daughter got me some time ago. Uh, I'll shout out whoever made this. Timber, timber woodcraft, and timber woodcraft. I know it's Kentucky, and I believe she got it in Louisville. So it is made out of cedar, and it is a journal. So, and I've written probably about fourteen pages in it. So I still have plenty left. Ooh, I've even written some things in the back. Oh, you all might enjoy this, knowing this. Here we go. Timber Woodcraft Salvaged Live Edge. Timber Woodcraft is a family owned company partnering with local arborists to salvage urban trees for custom furniture, etc. Josh and Krista Weber. There's their information at the bottom. You can see that or screenshot it or something. But it is www.timberwoodcraft.com. So, if you, if you love that, I love, and I'm sure they have lots of other things too. But anyway, I just noticed in the back, I had forgotten about this. Five things that I love. Five things that are important to me. Five things that apparently I think about a lot. I'm not sure where I was going when I wrote this down, but here are my five things. Music, playing piano and organ. That's one. Number two, spending time at the beach. Number three, cooking, preparing meals. Number four, friend and family time. And number five, spiritual studies, spiritual movies, spiritual documentaries. I don't know where I was going with that. But anyway, those were five things that were important. Some book I was reading, probably. But um, I have different journals that I do different things in. This is my journal for self-improvement. Um, so this morning, I was thinking the last few days, I've been a little... I've not been troubled. I've just been a little tearful over some things. I have a few people in my f circle of friends who have things going on that I know are not comfortable. I know they're um, just difficult situations that they're maneuvering through and doing it very well, I believe, even though I know it's not easy. and. We all are dealing with something, uh, good, bad, or in between. <clears throat> Happy, sad, or in between. Positive, negative, or in between. Um, and I too, this week, for the last, well, almost eight days, but the last seven days, have been dealing with something that was, I wouldn't say it was horrible, but I would just say it was very uncomfortable, uh, a situation. And so there are, in the first several pages of this journal, 
I made I've made notes from things that I've read, seen, and I put them under like headings, different headings. And the first one was just kind of how I prepare myself to affirm, uh, how I prepare myself to develop and develop my character and to flourish in my very best way to benefit myself and benefit the people around me. And it's reminders. Basically, these are just reminders, affirmations. And then there's a section here about health and healing. Uh, and I don't mean healing like, I should have like, da 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 You know, that, I'm not talking about that. That's all well and good, and that's fine. And I think that's um, some people's reality. And it works. Uh, so I wasn't making fun of that. I was just saying that I've been there and I've done that. But I'm talking about just self-thought and the fact that sometimes, oftentimes I've found that if we, what we think about, what we believe, what we concentrate on will eventually become our reality. So I have another subject called forgiveness. I've read that one several times this week. I have one on prosperity and wealth. And again, I'm not talking about, you know, necessarily name it and claim it, but that kind of works in with, you know, for instance, sometimes I say, not when I'm just sitting here looking at this journal, but writing down the interstate or sitting in my office or doing something at the theater, at the sewing machine, and I will repeat to myself, you know, I am a magnet for prosperity. I'm a magnet for financial wealth. Um, I perform work and I'm deeply appreciated and well compensated. You know, people love and respect what I do and they want to, they want me to benefit in every way, including financially. I repeat these things. I'm not living in poverty. I'm living in financial wellness. But let me move on. I digress, as they say. There is another section called creativity. Oh, I love that section. I release resistance to expressing my creativity fully. Sometimes we do resist being creative. We may resist because we think, well, that's silly or that's a waste of time to sit and paint or sit and write or sit, but it isn't, it's wonderful. It's a wonderful way to deal with your feelings and to positively express yourself, even if no one ever sees your art or your creative work or if it's an outward thing, oh, well, people will think that that's ridiculous or they may make fun of me or they may not understand. Express yourself. Long live Madonna. I am learning to be more creative every day. My potential is unlimited. So there's lots of things about creativity. Um, and then there's a, the heading here, relationships and love. And that's one that I've been uh, reading a lot this week too. I choose to see myself and others clearly with love and I love what I see. Many times in love and relationships, whether it's friendships or people we work with or companions or our spouse, lover, our parent, our sibling, when we're having a discussion or we're thinking about maybe a disagreement, we tend to just want to defend ourselves and point out how the other person is wrong. Rather than, I choose to see this situation clearly with love, with love. Just like maybe you look at a tiny child that's crying rather than thinking, why on earth are you crying and screaming and yelling? Oh my God, I wish that it... No, 
you pick them up and you love them and you hold them and if they're still crying and you snuggle them and you try to comfort them you're not trying to find you know trying to figure out i want to point out this baby's imperfections and prove to them that i'm right and they shouldn't be crying isn't that silly i don't know why i'm going there but anyway i was just trying to make an analogy but it didn't go well um i draw love into my life and I accept when I am loved. And then even loving yourself. I've talked about this before, but not much on here. I talk about it with friends sometimes. And I even talk about it with people that maybe come to my office just to share and chat. Um, do you ever do mirror work? I often look in the mirror and it's really helped me in the last five years. In the last five years, I've done this a lot. I look at myself and I say, I love you. I really love you. Um, and rather than judging, like for instance, let's take the hair. Let's take the face. Rather than judging like I used to. Oh my God, your hair right here on the sides is receded so much. Oh my gosh, you're getting gray. Oh my gosh, your hair's not doing right today. Oh my gosh, your hair's too fuzzy and it used to, you know, that. remember that product you used to use? What was it that made it look much curlier and not so fat? Or, oh my gosh, the back. Or, oh my gosh, the chin. Or, oh my gosh. Now, I'm like, I am so thankful to be the age I am. I'm so thankful that I do have curls. I'm thankful for my beautiful dark blue eyes. I'm thankful for teeth that I can smile and eat. I'm thankful for, you know, I love me. I love the fact that I've decided years ago I'm going to grow long fingernails if I want to grow long fingernails. Can you imagine? Um, Point out things and learn to love things about yourself rather than, oh my gosh, this and that and the other that aren't what society says should be this, 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 or this. Um, there was a point in time that I would not do a YouTube channel or a video on Facebook or TikTok or whatever because I was so self-judgmental. Um... I mean, I, I'm not going to say I don't know where I'm going with this because I do, but basically I'm just pointing out I like to start the day, and I don't always end the day, but I le at least like to start the day reminding myself of some of these things. Affirming who I am, what I am, how I am, and that I'm loved, and that I'm not perfect, but... We can strive to be better. Am I going to attain that anytime soon? No. Am I gonna attain it in this lifetime? No. But each opportunity that I have to get better, I am trying to get better. And I love this one. This was dated August the 8th, 2022. It says, Sometimes I have to be willing to let go. I release it, I let it go. Think about things that maybe have troubled you just today or this week or for the last couple of years or for 20 years. Sometimes I have to be willing to let go. I'm going to release the tension associated with it. I'm going to release the guilt associated with it. I'm going to release the sadness or the anger associated with it. I let go of how it's limiting me. I let go and I am finding peace. Now, sure, you can sit and read this and think, ah, I'm so mad. Still, I mean, that doesn't mean it's gone just because you read these flowery words and it sounds so good. But I guarantee you, if you say it enough every day, and I don't mean for two days or two weeks, but if you begin to say it enough 
and really start to think it, it can make an incredible difference in time. And you know, oftentimes when we're doing these things, we can't do it with pressure. You know, it's like forcing someone to do it is not easy. But if you just take it easy and a nice little gentle nudge, then eventually, wow, they're doing it. They're doing it. Like teaching a child to ride a bike without training wheels. You know, if you, nope, training wheel, no, they're off. Training wheels are off. Push them. They're going to hit the ground every time. But if little by little, you see that they can stay centered and the training wheels aren't even touching on the sides, and then you take off the training wheels and go with them and hold the seat up. Here I go giving analogies. You know where I'm going. Take it nice and easy. And then it ends with, I am finding peace with myself and I am at peace with the process of life. Life can be so difficult, but I have found, and I'm sure many of you have, we are what makes it difficult. Uh, and then the very last line there says, I am safe. So that's what's on my mind this morning. I'm sure this has already been 10 or 15 minutes. I hope you have a beautiful day. I hope you have a beautiful evening. I hope that every week is better and better. I know that many of you are going through crap right now. So even if just this 15 minutes has let you think about something besides your crap, then that makes me happy because it's helped me to think about something besides my, the crap I'm dealing with. So uh, I love this space, all things Chadwick, when I'm cooking or when I'm sharing or when I'm talking about Cooper or when I'm eating or when I'm going somewhere because it's, it's a nice little getaway for a few minutes for me. I'm not going to get emotional. It's just that that was my point in making this YouTube channel to begin with. Finding a creative outlet for me to just be me. And I like the intimacy of it, knowing that it's just a few of us. I know that all 300 and some odd people don't see every video. That's not reasonable. But I know that there are a few of you that watch almost every video and it's nice to get a few comments or even just a few thumbs up, Psst, plural. Um, so I love you, I truly do. I want good things for you and the people around me and humanity in general. I don't care what color you are. Uh, and I do care what color you are. I love all the colors. Uh, I love the human race and humanity and equity and I want good for all of us. So, I will see you soon. Bye. I'm finished. And I'm gonna get on with the day. Love you, bye.